You shot straight, but you shot late. High living. This is the Rundown Podcast. I'm going to give you the rundown. I'm going to give you the rundown. For the latest in hip-hop and celebrity news, tune in to OG Jacario TV. Run it. Say man, hey man, hey man, it's OG Jacario, and I'm back at you with another one. And guess what, today I want to spin on this topic about Boosie and Charleston White. Once again, they're back in the headlines again, you guys, and guess what? This time old Charleston says he's calling the feds on Boosie Boo, because Boosie obviously threatened him over social media. So we're going to get into the content. The beef between Charleston White and Boosie Badass is still sizzling, you guys. And guess what? You know, recently they had an issue where Aiden Ross, a popular streamer, wanted to bring Boosie on his platform. He has millions of followers, and, you know, uh, that could have possibly uh, projected Boosie, you know, to make more money and have more followers on his platform. But you had Charleston White, who's real cool with Aiden Ross, and say, hey, man, don't bring Boosie on your platforms, right? If you do that, I can't fool with you no more, Aiden. And Aiden Ross took Charleston White's advice, and he didn't have Boosie on his show. And I'm pretty sure that rubbed Boosie the wrong way. And now we got a whole different situation occurring where a promoter wants to bring Charleston White to Boosie Badass's city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And guess what? Boosie called me into this, y'all. Huh? And he said, hey, man, say, man, hey, man, if you bring Charleston White to my city of Baton Rouge, guess what? I'm going to send them killers, them hitters at that boy. Really, Boos, you want to send those hitters, those killers, those shooters, those murderers <laughs> at Charleston? Now, see, the problem with this is that, you know, Boosie's own family told Boosie a while back, look, man, don't you say nothing about Charleston White. Don't mention Charleston White's name. See, Boosie didn't want to talk about Charleston and he didn't want to mention Charleston's name in a lot of interviews where he was asked about Charleston White. But all of a sudden, now Boosie is speaking on Charleston and sending threats, allegedly. And this is crazy because nobody's seen this coming because Boosie has been real hush mouth when it comes to Charleston White because everybody know Charleston White going to put them laws, them folks, them peoples in your life. And for Boosie to send him a threat, it's kind of shocking, you guys. But of course, you know, you have Charleston saying what he always says. He going to call them folks. So once Charleston got word of Boosie's response of the idea of Charleston White coming to his hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana to do a comedy show, right? And the threats that Boosie was sending out about, you know, having something done to the promoter if he bring Charleston. This is what Charleston had to say. So little Boosie making threats? I've already contacted law enforcement concerning these possible threats against my life. And he added Vlad TV in this status. Wow, really? So why would Boosie want to play with Charleston like this? Because he knows that Charleston is going to call them people. And he going to file complaints and do whatever he can to get another notch up under his belt, another criminal off the streets. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy that Boosie would even, you know, send this guy a threat, right? Wow. So how's this whole ordeal gonna play out? Here you have Boosie finally addressing Charleston now, right? And, you know, sending alleged threats to a promoter about bringing Charleston to his hometown of Baton Rouge. And, you know, of course, Charleston is taking this as a threat as well because Boosie is saying that he gonna send them hitters, them killers at him if he bring his ass down uh, to Baton Rouge, right? And of course, Charleston responded classically with, I'm sending your ass to jail, Boosie, for playing with me. Check out the video. Run it. Boosie, I'm gonna put your mother in jail. I'm every boy, boy, you making threats to the promoter? 
I got a recorded phone conversation with witnesses on the phone saying the promoter is scared for his life that he got to live in Baton Rouge that Boosie go send them people to get you. He said he can't have the show because Boosie goes. I said, I just hired the police. The promoter scary. Scary. Boosie is a host, and I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you gonna try to send somebody, but you ain't gonna do nothing. Bitch. I'm gonna put your bitch. I'm waiting for the FBI to send me the right kind of number. I'm finna make a report on your mother. People, and you make the man, the man call your name specifically. The promoter specifically said your mother name, little Boosie. He implemented you and implicated you. Bitch. You finna go to jail, back to jail. You gonna be on your knees, but your knees gonna be bleeding again. Diabetic freak. So as we've seen in the video, Charleston White is saying that the promoter implicated and uh, indicated, right? Incriminated. <laughs> Boosie as the one that's making the threats on the promoter's life and also on Charleston's life. And the promoter is saying he's scared, man, because he, he got to stay out here in Baton Rouge, right? And... All this is going on now. He don't know how it's gonna turn out. But Charleston is saying, hey man, don't worry about it. I got your back. I'ma call the FBI on boost, right? So as you heard in the video, Charleston White is saying he got witnesses on a recorded phone call that Boosie made these threats against the promoter's life and his life if he was to come to Baton Rouge and do this comedy show that the promoter obviously tried to get Charleston to do before this whole situation spiraled out of control. And Charleston is saying, look, man, I can bring the police with me, bro. Don't worry about Boosie and what he talking about. Boosie's scary. Boosie's a hoe. That's what Charleston said, right? And now he's saying that, you know, look, the promoter gotta be scary because the promoter is steady talking about what Boosie gonna do, right? So Charleston is saying, look, don't worry about none of that, man. I'm about to call the FBI on this dude, man. He messing with my money. He messing up my comedy shows and, you know, my touring dates and all this here. So at the end of the day, what's really going on, you guys? So uh, Charleston White and Boosie ever hug and make up like him and Kevin Gates did? Now, I know y'all seen the video of Charleston White and Kevin Gates, right? Hugging. It was a prolonged hug, too. Almost like a five-minute hug, right? And Charleston said a lot of degrading and foul things about KG, Kevin Gates. And they made up. So will we ever see a Boosie and Charleston White makeup? Because every time we look up, man, these two getting into it about some petty. Now, why would Boosie be worried about Charleston getting his money and, you know, no matter if it's in his hometown or not? Who knows? See, Boosie, that's not player, man. You can't be hating on a man hustle and his grind all because you don't agree with his views and his points, right? It makes you wonder, why is Boosie Badass worried about Charleston White's pockets in his comedy show and, you know, trying to get his money on? Why is Boosie concerned about that? Just because it's in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where Boosie is from? I mean, come on, man. It gotta be deeper than booty hair. Is this a deep field hatred that Boosie has for Charleston? I imagine so. Because Charleston's always, you know, bragging on how he's gonna get Boosie locked up. You know, and even with the California gun case, Charleston said he was the one that called the laws on Boosie and said he had a gun out there in Cali. So maybe this whole thing is deeply rooted in hate <laughs> and it's deeper than booty hair. Wow, sir. Yeah. Many would say, well, what's Boosie's beef with Charleston? Well, Charleston White has spoke on Boosie numerous amounts of times and also implicated Boosie in murders. For instance, the Duke the Jeweler murder, right? Uh, you had Boosie being implicated by Charleston in that uh, murder out there in Houston with Duke the Jeweler. And I'm pretty sure Boosie is still holding some animosity about that whole situation. So how will this whole ordeal play out between Charleston White and Boosie Badass, you guys? Will the FBI actually lock Boosie up for these threats? Who knows? We have to sit back and watch. You're watching the Rundown Podcast. I appreciate everybody for spinning with me. I appreciate all my subscribers for sliding with your boy every time. And say, man, hey, man, hey, man, keep in that like button, keep in that subscribe button. And look, turn on post notifications so we can slide whenever I get the drop. You already know what it is, man. It's deeper than booty hell. And guess what? I 
गांव-गांव 